In this video, I'm going to prove these three identities, okay? Um, and I'm going to use a mixture of different uh, ways of doing it, okay? Now, what you've got to get used to is that one person may prove something in a slightly different way to another, okay? These require a little bit of playing around with to get used to them. So let's have a look at this first one. Tan x plus cot x is equal to sec x uh, cosec x. So I think the most complicated looking side is actually this one with the plus in it. So I'm going to start with the left hand side for this one. So the left hand side is equal to tan x plus cot x. Now as it stands, there's nothing much I can do with that unless I turn them into sines and cosines. So tan is sine x over cos x and cot is cos over sine. Now at this stage what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cross multiplication to combine these two fractions together. So we're going to have sine squared plus cos squared over sine x cos x. Now, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. That's one of the trig identities. So we get left with 1 over sine x cos x. Now, 1 over sine x um, is cosec, and 1 over, cos and 1 over cos is sec. So we have the sec x there, and we've got the cosec x there, which is the right-hand side. OK. And that's how we can prove the first of those identities. OK, let's have a look at the second one. Uh, cot x sec x is equal to cosec x. If we just start with the left-hand side, most complicated-looking side. Um, in this one, uh, I'm going to go jump into sines and cosines. So cot is cos over sine. Sec is 1 over cos. Here we can quite clearly see that the cosines are going to cancel, leaving me with 1 over sine. And that's just cosec. And that's the right-hand side. So some of these, as you can see, are quite straightforward. Okay, some are more fiddly than others, however, as we will see with this next example. So with the third one, we've got cosec plus cot is equal to 1 over cosec minus cot. Okay, now it looks very tempting to multiply both sides by the cosec minus cot um, and you get an identity, but we can't do that, remember, we can't cross the streams. So we're going to deal with the most complicated looking side and that's the right hand side this time so the right hand side is equal to one over cosec minus cot so it makes sense to dive into sines and cosines at this point however if you go about it this way diving into sines and cosines then it will take longer OK, so I'm going to show you this first method, OK, uh, using sines and cosines. So we're going to have 1 over, well, let's uh, put it here, actually. So I'll give myself a bit of space. We're going to have 1 over, that's 1 over sine minus cos over sine. Now we can combine those two fractions. OK, so... Um, we're going to get 1, sorry, 1 over 1 minus cos over sine. And that, flipping, because we've got the reciprocal here, is sine x over 1 minus cos x. Now at this stage, there doesn't seem to be much that we can really do with that. So failing to really move anywhere from that point, let's now have a look at the left-hand side. And maybe we can get the left-hand side to be equal to the right-hand side. So cosec x plus cot x. So that's 1 over sine plus cos over sine. And that gives us 
1 plus cos x over sine x. Oh, sorry. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, we're all right. We're all right. Okay. Now, we get down to this, which clearly doesn't look like that. It looks similar, but it's not quite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 1 minus cos x. Now, that won't change it because I'm multiplying by 1. And the only reason I know to do that is that I can see that there's that as the dom denominator in the left-hand side, or in the right-hand side one. Okay, So that's the only thing that's telling me. So the numerator becomes 1 minus cosine squared over sine x, 1 minus cos x. 1 minus cos squared is sine squared. Perhaps you can see where this is going. Because now a sine x can be cancelled from top and bottom, leaving me with sine x over 1 minus cos x. And there we have that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay? As you can see, this was a much, this is a much longer problem than either of the other two. But this isn't the only way that you could have done it. Okay? This really just amplifies and shows that turning everything, everything into sides and causes isn't necessarily going to be the best way forward, although it may well work. So let's have another go, and we're not going to do it that way this time. We are still going to start with the right-hand side, though. But this time, I'm going to multiply by 1 at this stage, and I'm actually going to use cosec x plus cot x over cosec plus cot. Now, the reason for that is that I can see that the denominator multiplied by its... Um, would be the best word for it. Um, my, my mind is uh, blank on that. Um, if I multiply it by this, it's kind of like the difference of two squares. So you then are going to get, um, we've got cosec plus cot in the numerator. And in the denominator, we've got cosec squared minus cot squared. OK, because the cosec times cot and the cot times cosec, they cancel. Now, this cosec squared minus cot squared is just one. It's one of the identities. And so we actually have cosec plus cot over one, which is cosec plus cot. And that is actually the left hand side. So we've shown that the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side. And this, as you can see, is a lot quicker than the other method.